there are millions of them scattered across the solar system. Many of these asteroids pass close to Earth. They're rich in gold, platinum and aluminium. They also contain water which could be split into hydrogen and oxygen to produce rocket fuel. At a news conference, a group of entrepreneurs in the US launched a company to mine these asteroids. It's a plan that's backed by film director James Cameron, as well as the head of Google, Larry Page. Today, I am very proud, along with my colleagues here on stage, to be announcing planetary resources. Uh, the vision of planetary resources is to make the resources of space available to humanity, both in space and here on Earth. The plan is to send robotic probes to collect and bring back samples to Earth. But similar missions already underway by government space agencies have cost hundreds of millions of pounds. And many scientists are sceptical that the company, which needs to raise finance for its idea, can deliver. Mining on an asteroid might seem a little far-fetched, but there's one factor that might make this seemingly science fiction idea into a reality. That is that nearly all the world's supply of important elements used by the electronics industry comes from just one place, China. The US in particular feels uncomfortable that China controls such a strategically important resource. Asteroid mining will be expensive, but with the Earth's resources dwindling, backers of the plan say that they have to try. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.